Hello, my book recommendation today is called The All-American Muslim Girl by Nadine Courtney. What does a Muslim girl look like? Olive skin, dark hair, dark eyebrows. What if you have pale skin and reddish blonde hair that you inherited from your mother? Ali Abraham, born Ali Abraham, is Muslim. She inherited her pale skin and blonde hair from her mother, who converted to Islam when she married her Circassian Jordanian husband. Because of that pale skin and blonde hair, Ali is able to blend in perfectly and be accepted as an all-American girl, aka white. Very few people know that Ali is actually Muslim, just like her parents. Her non-practicing father encourages his daughter to take advantage of her looks and keep her Muslim heritage a secret for safety and convenience. Ali yearns to connect with her religion and heritage and to her grandmother, with whom she is only able to communicate in broken Arabic. Things get more complicated when she starts dating Wells Henderson, who seems so genuine and likable, unlike his xenophobic father. Courtney examines matters of subtle and blatant Islam Islamophobia, privilege and erasure, and questions of faith and identity with a sensitivity born of experience and respect. While grounded in American Muslim experience, the book has universal appeal thanks to its nuanced, well-developed teen characters whose struggles offer direct parallels to many other communities. If you enjoy this book, you may like Like, Hate, and Other Filters by Samara Achman. 17-year-old Maya is torn between being a good Indian daughter, attend a nearby college, or follow her dreams, go to film school in a different city. Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. Your parents divorcing is difficult enough, but what if your black mother and Jewish father don't wish to have anything to do with each other, and you have to move to Harlem where everyone thinks you're not black enough? All these books are now available in Cloud Library. Happy reading.